right, good afternoon. Thank you all for being here. Let me be the first to welcome you to the future home of West Virginia State Park's Elk River Trail System. This is an incredible turnout and it really demonstrates how much you all care about your community. I came up around noon and took the ride um, and I learned that there are folks here who have literally been working on this project for decades. So I wanna congratulate you all on getting here um, and for making the push for your community. So I don't really have to tell you all about this project. You guys could probably teach me a thing or two about it. You know that it's 72 miles of beautiful trails. You know that it spans from Kanawha to Clay County and can eventually be extended to Braxton County. You know it's 54 miles along the Elk River and 18 miles along the Buffalo Creek. And you know that it's the longest rail to trail with rails in the US. My job here is to help you all tell that story and to help tell that story to people across West Virginia and beyond, and I'm looking forward to getting started. I'm fortunate in this position, not only to have the support of the legislature, but also to have the support of the governor. The governor is the biggest cheerleader for tourism. He knows tourism and he knows the impact that it can have on local communities just like this one. And that's what today is all about. Today is about seeing the governor's vision for this community come to life. See, the thing about the governor is he knows that grows, growing our tourism economy isn't just about advertising, it's also about product development and economic development and events just like today. It's about increasing our tourism offerings in our local communities, and ultimately, it's about increasing jobs. So I wanna personally thank the governor for leading us to today, for helping us get here, um, and at this point, what I actually want to do before we, the governor's going to talk to you all a little, about, a, bit, a little bit about his vision, but first I want to invite Susie from Congressman Mooney's office up just to speak briefly. Good afternoon. My name is Susie Azevedo, and I'm Congress Mooney's, Congressman Mooney's district rep for Kanawha, Putnam, and Jackson counties, and I am out of district today, so this is really cool for me. I do have an announcement I'd like to read from the Congressman. Dear friends, thank you for the invitation to attend this announcement today. I regret that I cannot be with you due to votes in the U.S. House, but I send you my best wishes for, six, for a successful gathering. West Virginia is a wonderful state with unique opportunities to enjoy our natural beauty. The Elk River is a jewel throwing, flowing throughout our state and the Elk River Trail Project will allow residents and visitors to explore adventures on and off the water. Kayaking is a fast-growing pastime around the region, and this offers a wonderful venue to get people outdoors and pursue fun and healthy activities. Hiking and bicycling along the river are relaxing and popular events that people of all ages can enjoy. Utilizing the railroad tracks that are in place for economic diversification is truly a win-win for all. When I meet with Clay County officials, this project is at the forefront of the discussion. I am happy to support this project because I know both the Elk River and Buffalo Creek Trails will be game changers for tourism opportunities in this region. This project is great for, for residents and provides us the opportunity to showcase our West Virginia hospitality and outdoor beauty. Thank you to Governor Justice, Tourism Commissioner Ruby, and everyone who has helped with this worthwhile project. Sincerely, Alex X. Mooney, Member of Congress. Thank you. Thank you, Susie, we appreciate you being here. Um, and next, I'm going to introduce someone who needs no introduction in Clay County. Um, but Speaker Hanshaw has been an integral part of this whole process. Um, and we just want to invite him up to tell you a little bit about what this means for the community. You know, we work with him in Charleston day in and day out. Um, and he's not only there working for West Virginia, but it's very clear in everything that he does that he's representing this area. So, Speaker, without further ado. Thank you very much. Folks, welcome. Chelsea might have been the first to welcome you to the newest state park in West Virginia, but I am the most excited. Thank you all for being here today. You know, after five years, actually over five years, but it's been at least five years that people have been pouring effort into this project. People have been here volunteering their time, their money, their effort. 
through floods, through droughts, through disasters that have caused the park setback after setback after setback. They have continued on through people who've said it could never happen. And now here we are. And now here we are. There are so many people here who have helped make that happen, who have helped make that possible. And I'm thankful for all of you. I'm thankful for every person here who has put time, effort, money, support into making this park possible. You know, every Saturday, every Saturday, almost every Saturday, I'm in Clay. And almost every Saturday, we see people stopping at stores, going into GoMart, stopping at Exxon, putting gas in their vehicle with kayaks strapped to the top of their car. Those kayaks aren't coming from here. Those kayaks aren't coming from here. Those are people who have come to our community from somewhere else. Those are people who have come to our community from somewhere else. And I'm thankful for that, and I hope you are, because I am now 39 years old, and for the entirety of my lifetime, all that I can remember people say about our community is, if we just hold on a little bit longer, help is on the way. You know, if we just wait a little longer, something will come save us. You know, Governor, all we have to do is just wait a little longer and somebody's going to come bail us out. Well, folks, we know that we can bail ourselves out. We know that bringing people to our community helps every one of us, helps every business here in the county, helps every business up and down Elk River, helps the state of West Virginia. Because people all over the country, all over the world, look for places where they can experience the kind of outdoor recreation that we have right here literally in our backyard literally in our communities, right out our doorsteps. Those people are already coming here. Now we get to bring them here, Governor, to a state park. You know, this, 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 project, this project means a transformational change for every community through which this trail will pass. It means that scores of people who have never visited our community before will, for the first time, get to see what a picturesque place our community is. They'll get to experience life here in rural West Virginia in a way that no storybook can accurately portray. And they'll get to see that we're good people. We live in good communities and that we provide great opportunities to come back, to bring your friends, bring your family, bring your neighbors here to this park, to these communities, and be with our people. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that, and I hope you are too. You know, it's, it's difficult and dangerous in, an, in a situation like this to call out people by name and thank people for effort and work that's going into projects like this, Governor, but there's a, there's a few that have to be done. You know, I see Frank Jorgensen here today. Frank's here from Bright Enterprises, and we need to give Frank and Bright Enterprises a big hand for their role in this project. You know, there are lots of other things that Bright Enterprises, Mr. Jorgensen and his team could have done with this property. Lots of other things, many of which would have made them more money but they chose to contribute this project and this property to this park. And Frank, I'm thankful for that, and I appreciate your support of our communities. On behalf of our community and our town, thank you very much. We appreciate you. Thank you. You know, our Clay County Business Development Authority governors also played a big role in this. The president of our BDA is Mitch DeBoard. Mitch took this project over and has made this really a labor of love for the last several years. I don't know how much of his own personal time and money and resources Mitch has put into this park, but I know it's more than any other person. And, Governor, I want to invite Mitch and another member of our BDA, Dustin Fitzwater, to present you with a little token of appreciation before you take a podium today. Mitch? Thank you, Roger. Dustin, if you'd like to present the governor with this T-shirt, Buffalo Creek and Golly Railroad. <laughs> governor, Roger caught you asleep and measured you. Friends, thank you very much for being here. It is a pleasure to welcome each of you who are not from our communities here to Dundon, here to Clay. We hope you'll stay. We hope it's not your last time in our town. Thanks for being here. Governor, they're telling me it's time for you to come up now. Friends, let's, let's pause for just a moment and welcome the governor of the great state of West Virginia, the Honorable Jim Justice. Okay, thank you all so much. Please, please sit and enjoy yourself just saying I'm going to sit here and just talk with you just one second. And uh, Mitch, thanks so much for the T-shirt. And thanks for this wonderful, wonderful day that we have here to the good Lord. And... Uh, I think, I think what you have 
going on here. Probably a lot of people that are here just don't realize the level of the impact that you have. You know, I was in the very infancy of the Hatfields and McCoys trails. And I was in the very infancy of seeing ATVs come into communities like Gilbert or Pineville or wherever it may be. And, and I thought, well, really and truly, how much can that really grow? And then all of a sudden it began to really grow. And do you know that people from all walks of life, it doesn't matter if they're outdoorsmen or outdoors women that just love being out in nature and everything, or it's first timers, whether they be doctors or lawyers from all kinds of different states. And they pour in there like you can't imagine. Just like yesterday, you know, I may round a curve and here's 400 ATVs. I'm dead serious as I can be. Hundreds of them. And so this is limitless as to what can happen here. Now, you know, I, I thank Susie and our speaker and Mitch. And Mitch is telling me his daughter is graduating today. And so he can't really spend a lot of time with me because he's got a real priority. And I think that's exactly right. So let's give his daughter a big round of applause, please. Now, you know, it's so easy to leave people out and to miss people, but, but when it really, really boils right down to it, we're doing stuff in West Virginia. We're getting stuff done. You know, at the end of the day, you know, the, the bright group, on and on and on, the people that made this possible, it is hard to fathom 72 miles 72 miles of a park where people could enjoy everything from swimming to boating to fishing to kayaking to everything to hiking and on and on and on it is unbelievable what this will do for an area of this state that is starving for this that's all there is to it you know and so I couldn't be more happy to be here. I couldn't be more congr congr congratulatory to all the people. You know, I see Steve McDaniel here, and I know I know what an incredible job he's done, and I know that uh, the two of us will probably some way, somehow, try to catch a brown trout up here before long, and uh, and I understand that that's the real deal, and and so I mean, it it could just go on and on, but just let me just let me emphasize one thing. I truly do believe in tourism. I believe in diversification of our state. You know, we live forever more and we should still promote our coal miners in every way. We lived on the backs of our coal miners forever. Now we have higher ed and high tech and tourism and manufacturing and gas and lots and lots and lots of opportunities from, from the standpoint of the petrochemical industries and on and on. But I'm going to tell you, this little girl right here, Chelsea, has taken the reins. Now, I've been with her because I love marketing advertising. And I have said it so many times, if you're not proud of your own pond, you must not be much of a frog. And just think about it. We have to be proud of what we have here. I mean, you just look around. It is unbelievable once we get people here. Once they see what we've got, they're not going to be able to turn it loose. That's her job, and that's what she's doing. And she's done an incredible job. The numbers are off the chart, and they just keep on being better and better. We've still got a long ways to go. This is a first. So Roger and Mitch and everybody, I could never congratulate you enough. This is, you know, I am so proud to have maybe been a little part of this or a big part or maybe push it across the finish line, you know, but I'm not going to be the one that's going to sit and be braggadocious and say, oh, I did this and I did this. There's a lot of people put in a lot of licks here and you ought to be really proud of them. 
So I'd say more power to us. You know, I know we got some real work to do still on down towards Clendenin on that end, but but for right now at least there's so much there's so much of the entire system that's terrific and it'll only get better and better and better. I got to read one thing to you. And I don't read much stuff, but I got to read this right here. Okay, that's the wrong one. Okay, it's got to be here somewhere. Okay. All right, I'm going to do it from memory. And that's this. I think the timeline, and Steve, come up here and help me just a little bit. But the timelines for this are, do you have your list? All right. I'm going to just wait because it's nice and cool out here. and I am burning flat up. <laughs> Here, I got it, Chelsea, right on the end. Let me have it. It's real small. Okay. April 2019, letter of intent signed. May 2019, public announcement. That's where we're at right now. Summer, fall 2019, Bright Enterprises removes track on Elk River Trail. Now, just follow me. I'm not. I'm not way. I'm not out of two, 2000. I'm out. I'm only out three or four or five months here. Fall winter 2019. U.S. Surface Transportation Board approves transfer. December 31st, Christmas 2019. Estimated the state will take title to the property at that point in time. In the spring and summer of next year, one year from today, the trail will be up. And rolling like crazy. Now, that timeline is just terrific. That's all there is to it. So, again, I can't congratulate all the people that have put in the licks enough. It's, uh, it's a good day for West Virginia. And we just keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. And we hope to goodness that we're getting more and more and more traction every day. So, anyway, I thank you for letting me be here. Thank you now.